My name is Kyla Pere. I'm the Education Consultant and Smartboard Trainer for Presentation Products, and I'm going to show you how to use and customize the My Content folder. The My Content folder is the first folder that you're going to see in the Gallery tab. If you open up the Gallery, you'll see My Content, it's the very first folder. If you're brand new to notebook software, then this folder is going to be empty. And this is great because it allows you to bring in objects that you plan on using over and over again. It's specifically reserved uh, for anything that you have imported, captured, or anything that you've created that you want to save. Um, a lot of teachers like this option because if you have a picture or a tool or even a shape, uh, that you know you're going to be using on a daily basis. You don't have to recreate it or search for it every day. You can just pull it in and save it in uh, your My Content. If I click on the My Content folder, you can see that I've customized mine into several different uh, folders. This is very simple to do by clicking on the drop down arrow next to it. The new folder option is how you really break this down and customize it. And you can see I have everything from uh, Halloween to frogs to health, higher education, um, just broken down into the very specific folder so it's easy for me to search for things. To save objects into your My Content folder, it's very simple. You just drag and drop them in. For example, if a math teacher wanted to use these particular numbers, over and over again, she can add them in. Just simply scroll down, I'm going to find my math folder, and I'm going to add these pictures in. Just drag and drop. And you can see the number is going to change down at the bottom. Click and drag on these directly into the math folder. And you can see the folders highlighting. You could also drag and drop them in down at the bottom. When you click on this tab, you can see here are the pictures that I've added in. Very simple. You can also customize this by creating your own folder. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and hit new folder. This is going to pop up and allow you to type in the name. And I'm going to name it animals. Once you name it, it automatically sorts it for you alphabetically, so I'm going to scroll back up to the top and click on my animals folder. Right now I have zero items, so I can add pictures, I can add multimedia files, maybe if I had a video file or even flash animation, I can add that in. Click on the drop down arrow next to it and go down to add to my content. This is going to allow you to search your computer and bring in any content that you have saved. So I'm going to scroll down and click on picture of Winston and hit open. From here you can simply drag and drop this picture onto the work area. What's also great about this option is that if you have a new picture that you've brought in, you can add properties to it so that you can search by keyword. Um, so up at the top, if you needed to search for something specific like a bulldog, you could search by keyword. So you want to give it tag words. You can name it bull, dog, animal, hit apply, and then hit OK. And now if we search by any of those keywords, it's going to come up as one of our options in our pictures folder. And there he is down at the bottom. That's all the time that I have for today. If you have any questions or if you'd like to contact us, please feel free to do so either by email, phone, or visiting our website. We also hold monthly training sessions, so if you are interested in signing up for any of our training sessions, please feel free to contact me directly. My email address is kparay at pproducts.com. You can also call us at 212-736-6350 or visit our website at presentationproducts.com.